all numbers of the form a cubed plus b cubed are composite. They factor into the numbers a plus b and a squared minus ab plus b squared. This factorization may be viewed geometrically. Consider two cubes, one with sides of length a and one with sides of length b. Assume the larger cube has sides of length a. Cut the larger cube into two pieces, one piece with a height of b and one piece with a height of a minus b. From the piece with a height of a minus b, cut a rectangular prism having a square base with sides of length b. Three of the pieces we now have can be assembled into a rectangular prism as follows. Two pieces have a face which is a square with sides of length b. Join these two. This new solid has dimensions b by b by b plus a minus b, or simply a. It fits with the lower portion of the cube that we cut. Now we have a solid with dimensions a by a plus b by b. Consider the L-shaped solid that remains. It can be cut into two pieces, both with square faces of size a minus b by a minus b. Join these two pieces. This solid has dimensions a plus b by a minus b by a minus b. Now both solids have a length of a plus b. Let's join them together. What is the volume of this solid? Well, one dimension is a plus b, the same as the first factor in the sum of cubes formula. And what about the area of the L-shaped face of this solid? One part of it has an area of b squared. The other part has a height of a minus b plus b, or simply a and a width of a minus b. Therefore, its area is a times a minus b. This is a squared minus a b. So the area of the L-shaped region is a squared minus a b plus b squared, and this is exactly the second factor in the sum of cubes formula. We have shown that the sum of two cubes with sides a and b will always factor into the two numbers a plus b and a squared minus ab plus b squared. Thank you for viewing this video.